Today, a really simple video on how you can use Lightroom Mobile on your iPad, which is what I'm using by the way, that's why I say iPad, to rename your photos before you share them or upload them to a WordPress blog or, or any other application. So renaming photos using Lightroom on Lightroom Mobile. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Richard here, great to see everyone again. Um, I am today, as I've just mentioned, going to show you a quick video on how you can use Lightroom Mobile. Uh, I'm using the iPad, although it looks a bit like a laptop, it's just in a fancy Logitech case, which is really good, keyboard and stuff. Um, I'm showing you how you can use Lightroom to rename photos. Now, really quickly, why I wanted to show you this and why I think it's brilliant is because if I am using um, Lightroom to edit photos, if I go on a holiday, um, and sometimes I do blog posts while I'm on holiday, check out snapsandstories.com, which is kind of like my personal uh, travel type um, website. Um, if you check that out, then you'll see uh, that I do blog posts when I'm on holiday sometimes. So I have to use my uh, iPad, so I'm not gonna be taking uh, laptops and stuff like that. So the main reason that this is good for me is because in the old, when I used to do it, I used to use, still use my iPad, but I had no control over the naming configuration of my files. So when they went into WordPress, they would have uh, image names like IMG underscore 3601 or something, or um, WP underscore date file, no, unrecognizable to what it was, and I couldn't associate that with any blog posts. Doing it this way means that when I export my images from Lightroom, I can name the file exactly how I want it to be. So when I upload it to blog post, if I want that to say uh, USA 2019 day one, I can name the file USA 2019 day one. Um, and it will be easy for me to associate that file with that blog post and it keeps my workflow and organization within WordPress, my blogging platform, really, really straightforward. So without further waffling, we are gonna jump into the iPad I am using the keyboard on the iPad because I find it a lot quicker, but this will be exactly no different to using the keyboard that's built in with the iPad if you use, just use a screen. Um, jump into iPad and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so welcome to Lightroom. I have three images here that I already have in Lightroom. I'm gonna assume for the purpose of this video, everyone knows how to get images in Lightroom. Um, I am gonna do a whole video on my workflow when I go traveling um, that I'll do. It, it's a, probably gonna be quite a long video, so it's gonna take me a while to throw it together, but for the sake of this video, the images are already in Lightroom. Um, so these are three images I'm gonna mess around with and I'll show you what, um, how we can rename them on export. So first of all, I'm gonna select all the images for the purpose of this. And if you come down to the bottom right hand corner here, you will see a share button with the arrow in the square box, which I'm gonna real quickly tap on. And we wanna to go to where it says export as. Now a lot of these um, a lot of these settings are going to be specialized for you and tailored to what you need. I'm going to show you how I do it and you can adjust them to however you want to do it. So simply put here, simply put, we've got file type, which you can rename to any of them. I'm going to leave it to JPEG. Dimensions, I always have custom because this is generally for my blog and I want them to be the longest edge at 1100 pixels, which I've got there. I need to put my glasses on. Uh, and I have image image quality at 30. Now I was having image quality at 100, but when it exported, it was sending them out at like one megapic, one megabyte um, for each photo, which is way too big for a blog post. I only want it down to about 200 kilobytes. So I have 30%, which is fine. I looked at it on a 5K Mac and I can't see, there's a slight difference between the 100% and 30%, but for the point of a blog post, it's, these are not gonna be imprinted or these are not gonna be a portfolio. I'm happy with 30%. Don't worry about watermarks, why well, don't anyway. Uh, the next one is more options. Now this is where you can do all sorts of different things. So we have um, things in here, include metadata, I've got that turned off for now. We have file renaming, which is the key thing that you wanna do. You have some options here. You can do it as original, custom name, or date and file name. Um, I choose custom name and I am going to um, you can see that I've done it on a test there just to make sure I knew what I was doing. Um, I'm gonna call this um, 
rename Lightroom. Oh, can I take caps lock off? I don't like. I don't want caps lock off my file names. Yeah, rename Lightroom Mobile, and we can see the example we got there. I start mine at a thousand, and then I know that it will be sequential. Um, I'll explain all that in another video, but just rename it how you'd want to rename. Whatever works for you, that's how you rename it. Uh, output sharpening, I just uh, do for screen, and I just do standard amount, just to give it a boost as it gets exported. HDI export, I don't worry about. So nothing else to do on that screen there. Top left-hand corner of this pop-up window, you can see the arrow where it is a back arrow. Tap on that, and you now have a tick in the top right-hand corner. When I tick that, the screen is gonna flash, or it's gonna go through a couple of things quickly, which is kind of like preparing the photos for export, and then you choose where you want to send them. So watch your screen now, we're gonna tap that, and you'll see it do its thing there. So it does that really quickly, and then it comes up with these three, or this extra box here, um, and you can choose where you want to send it to. Now, this bit's really important, because if you decide to export it to your Apple Photos, don't think I'm using iPad, I'm really sorry, I don't know what it does on Android but I'm hoping or I'm expecting the sort of premise or the principle to be the same. Um, I am gonna export not to Apple Photos because when it goes into Apple Photos, it gives it a really weird name and structure like IMG underscore something. And again, it means nothing to me when I then put that into my WordPress blog or wherever you want to put it. Um, I'm gonna put these onto my iCloud files and they stay there for 10 minutes, you know, so it's not gonna take up loads of data because as soon as I put them into WordPress, I'll go back and delete them if I need the storage space. So gonna to save to files, navigate to wherever you want to save them to. I've picked iCloud Drive and I've picked the USA folder because that's where we're going on holiday. It was just a test and I've called this folder rename test. If you want to, you can set up another folder so I could call this, for example, day one and we can go into there. Um, once you're in the folder that you wanna save them to, you click save, and you saw really quickly that I exported them into that folder. If I now flick to my iCloud drive, which is here, and we go into day one, we can see those three photos have now got the name that I gave it in Lightroom. It hasn't got some obscure name, it's got the name that I wanted to give it, which is rename Lightroom Mobile. When I'm on holiday, it will be um, USA 2024, and maybe day one and the date, something like that. Um, but for now, rename Mobile Lightroom. What I will then do, now I've done that bit, is I will go to my blog editor, which I use WordPress. I will create a new post, and we are gonna call this, uh, you can see that I've done a test there, but we are gonna call, create a new blog post, and we are gonna call this Lightroom Mobile Test Rename. And then here are my images, and then I'm gonna go down to here and add images or add a, a block, they call it in WordPress. I'm gonna to go to images and I'm not gonna pick any of these because they're not on my device. I don't wanna take a photo. They're not in my library yet. I'm gonna to go to other apps and I can go into rename test, which is what we set up earlier. Day one, there are my three photos and I can bring in the photo there. So I've only brought in one on this occasion, but I could have selected all three if I wanted to, but typically I write a paragraph and put a photo in, write a paragraph, put a photo in. So that's coming to WordPress now. I am gonna quickly save that as a draft. And that has now saved that draft in my WordPress as a blog that's waiting to be posted for when I'm ready to post it. Let's just wait and see what happens. There we go. So that has saved and it's uploaded to the WordPress um, a dashboard on, online as well. If we come back here and go into media, and I tap on the image that I've uploaded, you can now see at the top that it says rename Lightroom Mobile 1000. It hasn't come in as a weird name, it hasn't come in as image 001 or WordPress. I'll try and put some screenshots up here of what old photos have come in like, so you can see how confusing it would be if you try and link that, or you're trying to look for that image associated with that blog post. Um, that's it, I mean, it's really quite simple. The one thing that the key thing is, do not export it to Apple Photos, because if you do, and again, I'm gonna stick a photo up here, or a screenshot up here of what the image number changes to, it's, it's not gonna work. You're gonna then take the image out of Apple Photos, put it into WordPress, or put it wherever you wanna put it, send it to a client, or send it to wherever you wanna put it, um, and it's gonna have a weird name, which is useless. So, 
I think that's it, really straightforward, really easy, uh, really simple. Um, I didn't realize that I've had my glasses on for that, so there's probably lights, my eyes look really weird, but never mind. Um, really straightforward, really easy. It's gonna make my workflow so much easier on the road, and hopefully other people find that useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm really, really slow at answering questions, I'm really sorry but I get to them as quickly as I can. Well, not as quickly as I probably could, but I get to them as soon as I can around the work and other stuff. Um, so I hope you found that useful. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Any questions, ask me, and I will do my best to answer them. I've only just learned this myself. I don't know how long that feature has been there. I'm hoping it's not been there for 10 years. Um, I think it's quite a new thing because I have seen some forums where it says you can't rename in Lightroom. Um, and this isn't kind of renaming in Lightroom, it's using Lightroom to rename when you might export them to another platform. But that's it, I'm waffling. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video.